Hey guys, Brad from Team Crimson here with Deacon, the undefeated. Never lost a game. I am the best. Do you lose it all the time? There you go. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Zach, Brian. great. Whoa! <laughs> I'm just surprised he kept it so short. That was actually great. <laughs> oh my god! I, you know, I paused because I, I thought I was going to drag it on, and now I'm dragging it on. All right, shut up. I was drag it on. <laughs> no skill required. <laughs> Javier. No skill required. Yes, okay, so all weird and fancy. Uh, we are all here, and we are discussing with you today meta-analysis really post uh, infidelity. Infinite <laughs> deity cradle. No. Infidelity. Infinite, <laughs> infinite infidelity cradle. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Infinite? Infidelity. It's Nova's, and they're cheating on Beastie. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we're, uh, we're discussing that set today. That's the set with Genesis, Angel Feather, Nova Grappler, and Dupatama. Why do I always forget? I want to say more. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and oh, uh, before we get into it, we'll, um, if you're new to the channel, uh, how we do, um, the meta-analysis videos is we, um, look over all of the Japanese results for the tournaments and stuff, and, uh, we figure it out with the top five decks after so uh, these are the top five for top five clans after the set debut so number five is Narcani yes that's right we are still number five <laughs> um okay reason being why we are number five but you're is, still in it you're still yes in it. we're still in it barely yeah <laughs> just hey, the tip. don't let just them the know that <laughs> um okay so reason we're in it is because bind um the ability to just nuke the front row for a counter blast and a discard is fun. And then you gain power and crits off of it. But we do not have what it takes to, for some reason, to be the best out of the meta. And it saddens me. He wants to be the very best, but he like can't Like no be. one ever was. No, but he can't be. I want to catch them all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, so Narakami <laughs> is number five. And uh, we, we know, like, the deck has a decent amount of weaknesses to it, but... Hey. It is super powerful. Hey. So. Yeah, but but still in the it same time, but still in the same time, yes. it's one of those situations where if you got a good player behind the deck, the deck will go far. Well, and you. that's I think that's why it's still which is why it's not doing very well. Right. Yeah. I mean, um, <laughs> but it did. I will say yes. It is barely. It is barely losing. You're so out. dramatic. Uh, it is not well. <laughs> um, it is barely losing out. Um, so yeah. yeah, it's it's just it's barely there in the top five. So, uh, clinging on. Number four, interestingly enough, uh, is Tachikaze. Under the nose! Uh, why? <laughs> I you think. them too? <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> Undead dinosaurs. Why, why? Some of us are confused. Um, because they came out of the gate, uh, with the last set. And, uh, neither sense. Spikes, Megas, or Tachis were doing very well. I don't know if ta it took Tachi's player an unusually long amount of time to figure out the how the deck should work, um, but it's it's doing pretty well, um, yeah. not as well as the next as the top three. Um, there's a there's a pretty clear gap here right. between the next three and and Tachi still, but uh, Tachi's are doing well, yeah. so it's surprising. I I think it has to be the um, the okay. Start off, they only run four grade threes, and all the deck builds that I've seen, all the deck builds that everyone else has seen, they only run the four grade threes because it's like your primary ride target, and he enables you to restand three with equip gauges in the front row for plus five, and if I'm not mistaken, retire. Uh, so, like, he does a hefty amount of good things, and I think with the meta being mainly Excel, having the, you know, if you only have the three units in the front row, along with him, that's the four attacks, that's seven attacks with just your four dudes. Yeah. So, just the ability to create that many attacks just multi -attack and get power. Without barely trying. Yeah, and and just, they're very tactical. They can increase their hand from uh, from how they were before. At least they uh, increase their hand like it's nothing. They'll bring out cards that just hey, uh, it had equip gauges, a soul blast, and I had all those cards to my hand or whatever. Yeah. So they can grow um, card advantage very easily too. Yeah, and some of their powers on their rear guards, I think, is just massive because they have that one Dino dude that gains like. Was it like 5k for all your equip gauges? I think like so. Like everyone that's so. on it. So, so that along with the 5k restand, that's a massive attack two times in a turn. So, all right. So uh, I think that's why. Yeah. yeah. So we were a little surprised by that. But now getting into the top three. The top three are the Unchanged. ones that are have basically are, are just absolutely dominating right now. Uh, number three. Fail Moon. Stupid. 
<laughs> no, any reasoning behind that, Zach? No, it's stupid. Right. Um, Tell me how you really Zach. feel, bro. They, they <laughs> don't have to do any. They soul charge all their combo, uh, combo pieces, and then every turn they just bring them all out for no reason, and then they push them back into soul at the end of every turn, and, and then they, they draw three cards or whatever from the one grade three that they all play. Yeah. So I think free plusing, great... free, free field, free everything, free no reason, in fact. I, I, I think it's a good... Well, CB2. Yeah. CB2, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> I that's, think it's that's good probably cause... why they're only number three, is because they can be damage denied. Yeah, damage denied. Uh, especially against, like, right. Narakami. And Narakami is probably the best deck to play and kill them, because they can damage... They can sit there all day on Gauntlet Buster, and they can also make sure that they always will have a free front row. They don't even have to do the cost. <laughs> You're welcome. I thank just explained that for you. <laughs> All right, thank and you. number two, <laughs> Shadow Paladins. I think he's so salty. Edgy emo. Slightly, <laughs> but no. Shadow Paladins are, are tied because of you know what what every Paladin deck out there usually revolves around: aggro, superior call, toolbox. You have those. You got a really really good Paladin deck just in general, and for Shadow Paladins being able to. One, use the main like it owes you money and bring out Swordbreaker and put her out there. Free card. Superior call. Okay, call it from hand. Free free card in hand from C being, which you're not going to care about. And then you get that additional card in your hand, which could be a Charon. It could be the uh, the castle that gains 20k for no no apparent reason. You know, so, so with, that, with that being said... And having those on field and then being able to constantly swing uh, with their front row if you got two blaster darks on field with a lot of force gifts on them for a good reason, you're, you're <laughs> for, going for to more get good skill basically. Yeah, you're you're going to get guaranteed. Let's see, that's one, two, three, five attacks in <laughs> that aren't going to be less than twenty k apiece. <laughs> Strong. They're gonna be yeah, they're so, strong multi attacks uh, for no reason. Blaster Dark can retire uh, when he's called out, and then in addition, they do sometimes. I like to use my fingers and, and Danger Lunge is a discount waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. That's better. You got waterfall. He's it's all a like, discount. He's a way better waterfall. Yeah. So what they did was Ooh, they took uh, 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 Danger Lunge. Yeah. They took yeah. waterfall and they made him emo. So it's That's basically he's not emo. They have like this <laughs> ain't my chemical romance. Stop it. <laughs> doesn't matter if their their pieces are killed. They can just add them back from drop zone or or uh, blaster dust. They don't give. Or, yeah, they don't. Yeah, they, they don't they care. Really the only care. deck that they kind yeah. of care about is again Narcami because they bind them instead of. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But but even but even with that. <laughs> no, you care about their field. But too. even with that, that said, if you're able to spam yeah, the do. blaster darks early <laughs> game and then mid game to late game, your blaster darks are bound. Who cares at that point? Because then yeah, you you're like twenty force markers. Yeah, 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 you're gonna have like you know three, no reason, three to two, to finish the you know, force, yeah. force gift markers on field as as prior. So they're broken. And sometimes with uh, teched in PVD too. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's always dangerous. All yeah. right, so let's let's get into number one, the number one clan of the meta, which Merkimo. is which is Merkimo. ninjas that throw smoke bombs, ninjas that throw smoke ninja bombs. ninja vanish. <laughs> they they uh, turn all your stuff into smoke. Blow up your field, shuffle it back in the deck, and multi attack you. With and then they give you a gift with basket for your ridiculous amounts of power. So and superior call everything to their board for no Especially reason. Especially, so, yeah. With the ability to just. Being able to Kronoski you. <laughs> being able to Shiryaki you, being able to Kronos command your entire field is and, pretty nuts. And so copy one of your makes me surprised that Matt has jumped on that. Yeah. It's. All right, so, about it. Yeah. So, so that's that's your top fives. Uh, number five, Narakami. Number four is uh, Tachikaze. Number Ten. three, Pale Moon. Uh, two Six. is Shadows. And uh, one is... Uh, Ninjas that are smoke bombs. Is, is Murakumo. <laughs> I keep mixing them up. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's your top five for the meta. But now let's discuss real quick why uh, the four clans that were just supported, why none of them are topping. So, uh, the most talked about clan, I think, uh, well, let's, I think, let, let's get into it. Angels clearly, uh, aren't, aren't doing well. A lot of us here, yeah. including myself, thought they were going to do well. I didn't. That, that did not happen. Okay, Just whatever. kidding. I, I, I um, did. I did. I just thought that Novas were, were going to be better. Uh, Nubatama. Nubatama, we all thought, looked pretty solid, but not, they, not great. Still not doing well. It's uh, Genesis, having playtested the damn deck myself, uh, it has... 
problems. It's pretty cool, it's a lot of fun, but it has a lot of problems and it's like, it's a meme deck. It's no way to be considered um, something that you should use in competitive play. You can't. And then last, the most, uh, the, the clan that was probably the most hyped from this set uh, is Nova Grappler. And we'll go to the Nova Grappler expert to explain why uh, God Hand sucks. Well, thank you, Terry. I'm no <laughs> ex. I feel like I'm about to cry because God Hand sucks. Uh, okay, I, okay. So first off, um, again, I, I mean, I play tested God Hand, and uh, the deck is very fun, but it doesn't go off very well. Um, you can increase your drive checks. It's very reliant on its drive checks, specifically front triggers. Um, and all the decks that I've seen, all the decks that I have tested. Um, they play either anywhere between four to like six grade threes. Um, and the way I tested it, I tried the luminals uh, at two. And it can work uh, in some situations, but it has to go off with triggers. So um, the only way to really make it good is sack your triggers, sacking is very important, or stacking, which means you have to get your pieces. And they don't, they don't play more than like four to six draw triggers. Um, and then that kind of gets in the way of the fronts and the heels. And, um, so basically what it is that it lacks is plussing and consistency. And those are the big and major ones. And the fact that you can't like always control your drive checks uh, does hurt them a lot. You'll be driving, uh, you can go like maybe four drive checks, five I've done before, and all of them are non-triggers. And then you're screwed. Your whole turn is shut down for just because you weren't lucky enough. I think... Uh I think the worst part of the whole uh, Nova Grapple situation is that, uh, at least with Beast TDs, you're in control of the tempo of your game. You're in control of your game. Um, well, I mean, and, and look at them. They plus hard. Yes. They multi-attack harder. Yes, but whereas with God Hand, uh, it, in order to win the game, you have to sack. In order to lose the game, that meant you didn't sack. So... Um, you're never in control of the game and how it goes. So it, with a lot of these decks that are around now, um, I think that's a huge contributing factor yeah, into- That's, that's all the decks. It's basically, when it goes off, it goes off. Yeah. It, it's, it works really well, it's nice, but it's not uh, as, well yeah, like you're not in control of almost any of it. Yeah. Um, and that's why decks that are more consistent, Shadow Paladin, Pale Moon, Merkulo, uh, they they just stomp them without even trying. Yeah. So so yeah, that's it. Uh, I mean, the four clans just are not doing well. Um, we've seen a couple of tops from Novas. We've seen a couple of tops from Genesis. We've seen a couple of tops from Nuitama, but uh, they're not. A lot of them aren't getting first place uh, or second place even. Uh, I think there was a Nova deck that got second place, but it was Beast Eighty. Yeah, um, I saw, and they're um, just not. They're just not doing well. Yeah, well, all the tops from the new decks that I've seen, aside from the first week where Novas were played like very heavily, and they were like one of the mainly dominated that weekend set. There was like the first no, weekend. Yeah. yeah, there was like no tops that, aside from third, fourth, and that that was like, a lot of those results were very skewed. And, yeah, the uh, decks were all over the place. Yeah, it so. was mainly because those decks weren't lucky enough. And after that point, uh, testing them and all that, I'm almost positive that people have just stopped playing them in tournament format. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it from us guys. Uh, stay tuned, we'll be coming at you more later in the week, hopefully with some more videos. Um, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, please also comment below, let us know your thoughts on this meta, why some of these clans aren't topping as well. Uh, but we will see you next time, bye.